I think you have to do as a young individual, you have to do a lot of soul searching. You have to know, you, it's, it's normal to struggle with this question of what is your purpose on earth? What are you really here for? What are you here for, you know? Did you know that when you were seven years old? Did you know when you were 10? When did exactly that come to fruition that you knew what your future was gonna be, no matter what your career is? And so it's normal to have uh, some days, months, maybe even years doing that soul searching to find what you're most passionate about. I can tell you, I didn't always want to be a surgeon. I didn't always want to go to medical school. And it was something that I found through experiences in different avenues that suddenly I realized that was my calling. Once you know what your calling is, suddenly those days of wanting to just sleep until two o'clock in the afternoon or stay up all night doing mindless activities suddenly change because you feel you have a purpose. And so when you have that purpose, you want to take it on and you become passionate about it. If you are in any type of career and you're not passionate about it and you see that as more of a nine to five job where you, you're not really excited about being wherever you're at and you're just waiting, counting the minutes on the clock till the five o'clock buzzer uh, goes off so that you can enjoy the weekend, then you're not living life. I mean, life is about a balance and sure, weekends and time off and these sorts of things should be fun for us. They are a lot of fun, but what you do as a profession should be just as fun. You should be just as, you know, impassioned about what you do as a career as anything you do socially. So I, th I know that in a lot of doctors are unhappy, and I know a lot of uh, people in general who are at their jobs are unhappy. And the, the thing that I think can be very helpful to that is to focus extremely hard on what you're doing at that moment. There are more dimensions to, to what's happening than just the physical activity. If you focus more on how the colors look, if you focus on other things, it gets rid of the, the mental tension. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you find that you maintain the happiness and a stressful thing, a stressful career? Well, I think you're, you know, you hit the nail on the head. I do think not every physician would say what I'm saying to you, that I would go back and do it all over again. I don't think that's universal, and I think that it's easy to become disenchanted. Again, medicine is a very broad spectrum, and it's a different life altogether, perhaps for a pathologist, for example, or a radiologist, where there, those are you know, great specialties but for me they wouldn't be fitting because they lack that personal communication mm -hmm. where you're basically uh, operating on your own and you're not really communicating with the public with patients and you, that would be something that for me would be missing another example for example would be uh, physicians who go into emergency medicine um, emergency medicine is a high demand specialty it's also well sought after so that if you graduate with an emergency medicine degree or after completing a residency you'd be in very high demand because we need physicians like that there's a problem though is that it has a high burnout rate and to me one of the reasons that may explain that is that there's not a continuity of care so I think I always feel very lucky because I'm in a profession or a branch of that profession which is colorectal surgery where I get to experience all these things that just make me happy and want me to keep on doing it day in day out and that is patient interactions and um, and the types of surgery that I get to do the types of interactions which include beyond just in the clinic and in the office but also can extend to the ICU and on the wards and and everything else that comes with that. So for me, it's a very fulfilling career. That's what I think all uh, you know, young professionals who are thinking about careers should think about is ultimately, will you day in and day out find this career rewarding enough so that it fulfills you? you know, I can't tell you what, um, how special it is to be able to connect with people, to know that patients and their families really appreciate what you've done because you did work hard you did sweat a little bit in the operating room doing a complicated operation and if you can make one or two people 
very happy and if you can save their lives you feel fulfilled inside and that's a feeling that is um, it's almost addictive it's something that you start to want and the more you want that the more you want to do it and it drives you to work harder and push through pain it, it's like when an athlete gets you used push to winning. through the pain right yeah and so and and listen nothing good comes without that push through pain I believe that athletes go through it you know you want to show results you got to work hard mm -hmm. for it and so medical the medical career is very demanding from medical school on you know you spend hours and hours reading and you don't stop you know one of the lessons that I was you know as a medical student is that you're trying to drink this fountain of knowledge it's like you know a fire hydrant coming at you and it's a it's a lot of volume of knowledge to soak up in a short period of time and one of the senior one of the great um, uh, physicians of the time in internal medicine, Dr. Foster, uh, who passed away recently, uh, used to say, listen, when you get out of medical school, don't think you're done reading and learning and things. You've got to keep at it. You've got to continue to learn. You know, this is not, this is just a starting point. And I was just thinking to myself as a medical student, oh my gosh, I don't want to have to ever, you know, pick up another journal, read anything. But it's absolutely true. And I still do that. And you start to find motivation that comes from what you do so that you don't see it as a chore but you actually enjoy it how long are you gonna keep doing it forever as long as I can <laughs>